Chris, I'll start with you there in the building. Ohio State winning, not a shock, but the manner in which they did, I think it, it's, it certainly opens the eyes. What was most surprising from your vantage point? Well, the way they turned things around in the second quarter, Scott, you mentioned it. If you're an Ohio State fan, you saw the way Lawrence marched the ball down the field. They scored quickly. and You know the vulnerability of that pass defense. You're thinking, uh-oh, this could be a long night. But the defense settled in, and then when Fields took that shot from Skowski, who was ejected, and came back after missing one play, delivered the strike to Olave, it began the narrative. I think it's one of the, the gutsiest, toughest performances and highest level performances I've seen in the history of covering this sport in, in three and a half decades. This performance, regardless of what happens next game, will, will live forever, I think, in the memories of the people who watch it. It was that good. And it was also a complete team performance. He wasn't a one-man team. Sermon was great. The offensive line was great. And the defensive front was was good enough to give Lawrence a lot of trouble tonight. So a, a total team effort. They hadn't come close to approaching that all season. Herbie, it's exceptionally rare that the Ohio State Buckeyes can play the disrespect card, but they had it in their back pocket in this one. And it certainly seems that it fueled them and that they played it. You'd know how much it meant to them. How would you frame that? Well, typically, Ohio, Ohio State fans will use Ohio versus the world. You've seen that, <laughs> whether it's been when uh, LeBron was with the Cavs or Ohio sure. State's playing a game. They feel disrespected all the time. This is a time when the team actually felt disrespected, that they were going to go out there. And, and I, I should just say, it, disrespect, I think, was just in the last week or so with Dabo in the ranking. This had to do with pain. Walking off that field a year ago, how they felt as a unit. They felt as a unit. They felt they outplayed Clemson. They didn't convert in the red zone. They had a few calls not go their way. And they had to hold on to that loss when they felt they had a better team. So they, that's what the, really the, the driving force that allowed them to get back to this moment. They wanted another chance at Clemson. They got that chance. Many didn't think they could win. And then that added to the fuel and the fire that they approached this game with. Gentlemen, I'd love a quick thought from both of you on what we will get next. And it's a treat. Alabama and Ohio State, as we just explained, incredible high power on, on the offensive side of both. And, and Chris, if you just give me your first thought, and then, Herbie, you could follow it up. What are we going to see? Well, Ohio State's got another tough assignment on defense. I mean, what is it, 25 <laughs> straight for Bama, scoring 35-plus. Smith, Jones, Harris, the triplets are tough to stop. If you hadn't seen Ohio State play this kind of defensive performance tonight, you wouldn't like their chances, but they'll need to do that again. And Fields has to be this brilliant again. You don't beat Alabama without a, a transcendent quarterback performance, Kirk. I, I think the battle with the line of scrimmage is what I'm already looking forward to. The Ohio State defensive line, incredibly underrated across the board. The linebacker play is very physical and very experienced. How they match up against Sark's offense, Mac Jones, the way he can dial it up throwing, Najee Harris behind him. And then I, I think Justin Fields, you know, Chris just touched on it. I don't, you know, th this was a legendary performance, but I think in his own mind, he's capable of doing this every time he takes the field. So Ryan Day on Ohio State, Sark for Alabama, and you know about Nick Saban, of course. So this will be a, uh, it'll be get the Ohio against the world uh, shirt out again, because you're going to be <laughs> hearing a lot about Alabama and the SEC leading up to this game. Well, fellas, the technical challenges tonight were significant, but you guys are so good, as always. We look forward to the call, Miami Herbie. Uh, uh, rest well, get better, and uh, we look forward to seeing you boys soon, okay? Thank you, Scotty. Be well. All right. See you, Scotty. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.